So Bleacher Report came out with former first round picks from 2017 to 2019 that have the ability to shed the quote unquote bust label. And among those, Tack McKinley, the edge rusher that the Browns signed as a free agent. Yeah, he's on a one year deal, so it's a prove it deal. And he was uh, brought in to be given just an opportunity that, you know, low risk, high reward type of signing for Andrew Barry. And we saw him take this approach last offseason uh, with several players who did not return this year. And we saw it once again uh, this offseason. Very few players got long term deals uh, as free agents. And I think that this is kind of part of Barry's strategy. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they use McKinley, how he's going to fit in Joe Wood's defense. Is he going to be a package player? Can be an everyday, uh, or I should say, an every down player. Uh, I kind of think, obviously, bringing in Jadavian Clowney, that certainly changes his outlook as far as his playing time goes because uh, it stands to reason that Clowney is going to be the guy uh, that gets uh, you know the bulk of the playing time opposite of Miles Garrett, but. Um, yeah, he, uh, it was an opportunistic signing by Barry and, uh, we'll see what McKinley's able to do, uh, in his first and, uh, well, hopefully not last, but at least right now, as far as the contract goes and setting up to be his only season here in Cleveland, but we'll have to wait and see how the season plays out. Um, would it surprise you if he, you know, kind of rebounded to, you know, he had a couple of years where he had seven sacks, uh, with Atlanta and then kind of, you know, he admitted kind of got lost, if you will, in, uh, in his professional way and said all the right things when, when they brought him to town. Well, they all do, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, good point. The, Fair enough. <laughs> the nature of free agency. <laughs> they tend to win the press conference right out of the gate or the, the Zoom call. Um, but, yeah, I, he, he was pretty candid in his assessment of the early stages of his career and, and uh, not only his approach but the things that derailed uh, things for him down uh, in Atlanta last year. Some 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 injuries were a problem that led to him kind of bouncing around uh, a little bit. So he's kind of looking for some stability, and he's got to earn uh, that stability. And again, that's why I really like the signing because I, I just I view it as it's minimal risk on the part of the Browns, and uh, you know they're the ones that are going to reap the big rewards if he's able to get it together. Uh, and have a big year because if that happens, that means that the Cleveland Browns have had themselves a pretty big year as well.